Hey guys, it's Matt Gibson on with our second Python tutorial. In this Python tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you something called lists, which are variables that can contain multiple variables inside of them, and loops, which is something that allows you to run code more than one time. So, let's get started by editing our script. I'm going to call it list.py. And this is going to be a script that demonstrates lists in Python. So, before you start um, start using lists, you have to understand what they're important for. So, let's say we're going to keep on getting people to type in things to this thing, and it'll compose a list of different things that these people have typed in. That's where you would want to use a list. A better example of that is a script I wrote that we're going to be able to make by the end of this tutorial. That will do just that. So, it'll say enter name, enter another name, enter another name. Then when you hit enter without typing a name, it prints out the list of names. So this is basically a list right there. So to make a list, you do list name equals list left parenthesis right parenthesis. Lists are just like other variables, so declaring them is the same. Let's say you want to add something to this list now. You say list one, because that's an MRL list, dot append left parenthesis, quote, first object one, obviously first object. And this will add on to list one first object. So you can think of it as a big stack of items, basically. Then we can append to it again, second object, and we can go as far as the third object. We can really put as many objects in a list as we want to, but I'm going to be mostly using small amounts of things in lists. So here's our list. It's going to have three items. Now if we want to print it out, we just do print list one. Alright. So now, let's run this. First object, second object, third object. Notice how it's in brackets and all the objects are separated by commas. This is useful, what we just observed. So instead of doing list left parenthesis right parenthesis, let's declare it a different way. Left bracket, and then we can do items in here. So I'll say item 1, item 2, and item 3. And then I can add on to it first object, second object, third object, etc. And this will say item... So basically, when you're declaring a list that you don't want to start out empty, you can do it this way. And also, another thing you might want to do with a list is see what's at a place in the list. So, let's say you want to see the first object in a list. You can say print, name of the list, left bracket, zero, right bracket. Zero means one. You have to think of, that, think of things that way in Python. It's just in a list's case, and possibly string's case if you wanted to do that as well. Um, where zero means 1, so the first object in the list is 0, the second is 1, the third is 2, etc. And this will get then the first object in the list, which is item 1. We want to get the second object. We can do 1. So just think of subtraction, you're like subtracting 1, basically. So here's the problem with doing it this way. And that is, your, ob your list has seven op or six objects. So if you want to get the thing at the seventh place in the list, it won't work at all. So let's get the seventh thing. Or the sixth thing, because six means seven. This will not work at all. It'll say list index out of range. That's because the list doesn't have a sixth object. It only has zero through five. So if we want to make this safe, we'll say we can get the length of a list. And by doing that, we use this line of code. Print len left parenthesis list one right parenthesis. And that will get the length of the list in a variable that's an integer. So at this point, we see the length is six, and then we're still getting the error because we're getting the index six of list. So at this point, you guys know how to do if the place I'm trying to get is greater than len list or something like that, you could print out your own error. So that is lists. Now let's do loops. 
A loop is essentially like an if statement, except slightly different. And I'm talking of while loops here. So, here's the while loop we're going to be doing. We start out making a variable i that's zero. And we're doing while i less than 10, we're printing out less than 10. If this were to be an if statement, it would print out less than 10, because zero is definitely less than 10. That's not my check. The difference between if statements and while loops is that a while loop runs the code inside of it, then it goes back up, if this is still good, does it again and again and again. So right now, if we run this, it will just continue running again and again. Because we aren't changing i, so it's always going to be true. So we're going to change i. We're going to say i equals i plus 1. This will add i with the value 1. And so here we got it printed out exactly 10 times. Because... We're doing it while i is less than 10, and it starts out at 0 and keeps on adding every time. So this is an example of a loop. From here, we should be able to make the program i demonstrated. So we're going to say name equals nothing, and list1 equals list. All right? We're going to now change this to while name doesn't equal quote, quote. And what a quote, quote is, is an empty string. So it's a string, it's a piece of text that's not, like, that, that there's nothing in. There's no letters in it. So, if you do a raw input and they don't type in anything, they just hit enter, then it will be quote, quote, essentially. And so while they, while name isn't quote, quote, it'll continue running this code. Now we're going to say enter name. Now we're going to say name equals raw input. Then we're going to say list one dot append name. So what this is going to do right now, it's going to start name out being nothing, and it's going to ask them to enter their name. They're going to enter either in their name or a name and hit enter, or they're not going to enter anything and hit enter, and no matter what they do, it'll add what they just did to the list. What we're going to do just to be safe is we're going to say if name doesn't equal quote quote then we'll run this code. And so this way, it doesn't add something that's not, that, that, that's nothing to this list. And once they do type something in, after it's done with this, it'll end the loop. Because name will, will, will be quote, quote. And now we can print out list one. So if you run this now, I'll enter names. I'll say Alex Joe Alex because that's what I typed in. Let's say we want to say people are before this. What we're going to do is quote people are plus list. You'd think this would work, but list isn't a string, so you can't add it to a string. So to convert it to a string, you do stir, left parenthesis, the list name, right parenthesis. And this will convert a list to a string. So I enter name Alex Joe Bob. All right. We got Alex, Joe, Bobo, Bob. <laughs> All right, so this prints it out. People are blah. So this is our first program using loops and lists. If you have any feedback, any things you didn't get, anything you want to try using this information or similar information, just comment on the video and leave your responses. So thanks for watching, my kids and all, and subscribe, and goodbye.